Brian. Love to learn a little bit about First Data. What kind of payment solutions does it offer the travel industry? Uh, thanks, Charles. Great question. Um, I would say, in terms of solutions, is a pretty broad brush. We, as First Data, we we provide scale and uh, reliability. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to throw some some stats at you. Um, we've been taking care of payments for. Over 40 years, uh, we have clients in over 100 plus countries today, and we have operations in 37 of those. Uh, so, we, out of the 37 countries, we serve over 100. So, like travel, we, we understand serving cross border is is critical. It's on, part of our DNA. Um, so that's important for us, and we have 24,000 experts across the globe in First Data today, all helping these 6 million clients. So I won't throw any more numbers at you. We, we've got a lot of people dedicated. That's what scale means, okay? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of passion and a lot of experts across the globe. So if there's something that have been, that's of interest to, to clients across the globe in the travel space, um, we're here to help. Um, so. That would, uh, that would be, I would say, the first uh, uh, element around scale and reliability. We've been here for many years and we, 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 know our, we know our beans when it comes to payments. And the kind of solutions? Payment solutions? So the solutions at the core of the solutions is really the, what, what we would consider the payment processing element. So this is the taking care of the payment, um, the platforms that we have across the world. Uh, I'll give you one example. One of the platforms that we have, is, we call it OmniPay. Um, and from the ground up, it's, it's a multi-currency cross-border platform platform designed to travel cross-border uh, for the payment uh, elements. So payments are regulated in, in pretty much every country in the world. So there are a lot of restrictions, a lot of paperwork, paperwork we, try to, we try to untangle a lot of that for our clients by taking care of the, the, the stuff in our own house, which is the processing platform. Gateways, fraud, anti-fraud, tokenization. Uh, we have a, a plethora of, of products available for, for the travel space, for the small, medium, and the enterprise space in travel. Okay, uh, so whether it be an airline, hotel, tour operator, you, they can use your, your, your solutions for, to drive their e-commerce or retail locations. Yes, both. Primarily for credit card payments or alternative payments, sure. you know, whether it be Bitcoin or PayPal or rah 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 uh, in that country, whatever they call it. Kiwi in Russia, uh -huh. uh, through the Valletta and in South America. Uh, we have a whole range of payment methods, not just your, your traditional Visa Master. So, from the time the customer gets on their mobile or your website, or whatever, you could be engaging with that transaction yes. through the payment stage and notwithstanding which company issued that credit card and what currency that card is in and what that merchant is currency that merchant is in you will facilitate uh, payment in whichever currency that that merchant wants to transact with that customer in. Correct. Correct. And you hit, of course, before accepting the payment, have scrubbed through all the data and algorithms whether it's fraudulent. Correct. That's, that's how we help our client base, particularly in the travel space. Uh, where travel needs to be open, you need to be able to get to as many clients as possible in the travel space to sell as many tickets. If you're an airline, you got to get your utilization up. Hotel rooms, you got to get your utilization up. So it's about taking the payment quickly, seamlessly, painlessly, and ensuring you're getting paid for that in your bank account as a business at the end of the day. And we take care of all. And if I, the merchant, need to, as a result of that transaction, need to pay somebody else yep. something. Your system takes care of that part. We can do. We we have tools and products to to serve that at the back office, at the back mm -hmm. end, electronic invoicing. So we partnered with SAP globally to provide and service locally by by your own 36 offices. Not all. So some and some markets. Uh, so we you know there are some local restrictions and lots of vagaries in various markets that we need to be careful of. But we we talk our clients through that. There's a lot of uh, talk in the payment industry, and certainly by consumers, 
that one day we will see the solution where I can buy from an airline or OTA, online travel agency, uh, one payment, form of payment for not whatever they sell, air ticket, hotel, but my local transfer, sightseeing, car rental, taxi, blah, 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 uh, without having to enter my form of payment again. That's certainly technically possible. Uh, what, what you've got is, you, you've got challenges then in terms of there are different merchants today and you've got lots of intermediaries and agents along the way that take a slice or, or to have, have value in the chain. Uh, so it's about making sure they all get paid commensurately for the service they offer. But technically it's possible, I mean the simplest concept would be a wallet, electronic wallet, um, and through uh, innovations like Apple Pay, uh, which we led uh, uh, globally, we work with Apple, um, that allows us to bring technology to clients, to allow them to sell that concept, that USB, that new selling point to their clients. Your uh, customer facing interaction, the merchants. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like you do that directly, not through intermediaries. Correct. Not through, quote, partners. Correct. Absolutely. It's critical. Uh, we, we're, you know, Frank at the helm of our business, he's our CEO, and he's management committee. They've transformed first data uh, in the past three, four years. Um, we put the client at, and a lot of companies say this, but we have really put the client at the center of everything we do. It's critical. Uh, we meet them every day. That's why I'm here at the company. Most payment vendors are after the big merchants. But right at the beginning, you mentioned you also work with medium size. Uh, and okay, so you welcome that business. Absolutely, absolutely. We have a, uh, a huge base of what we call SMB or small to medium businesses uh, across the globe, following the sun from Australia uh, right through to the US, even out to Hawaii, not forgetting Hawaii. Um, and we also have an enterprise team. So it's, it's getting the right mix and the right balance because the enterprise engaging with a large company, um, the sales cycle and getting driving value to that client can take up to two years. Um, for the smaller businesses, they're much more nimble. Uh, so we've got a set of products and services to help them. So we, we cover the whole way. Plug and play often, exactly. huh? Exactly. Thank you very much, Brian. You're very welcome. Thanks, Charles. Nice to meet you.